Hey, today we're making this ear flap hat. It is so cute. I love how it turned out. It has little braids with tassels on the ends. It has little snowflakes that I show you how to embroider on there and a pom-pom on the back. Oh my gosh, I love how it turned out. Super cute. It's a fun gift to make for Christmas. Let's get started. Are you in? <laughs> Let's do it. Get started. We need two skeins of worsted weight yarn, and I'm using Ice Yarns Harmony in the colorway green, purple, pink, and yellow. I have size 8 double pointed needles, and then I have a size 8 16 inch circular needle. I have a pair of scissors, and then a couple of darning needles, and then I have some stitch markers just in case we need those. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a slip knot to begin. And then I'm going to use one of my double point needles and I'm going to cast on 10 stitches using the long tail cast on. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn my work and then I'm going to go ahead and knit back and forth. I'm holding both strands, the tail and then the working yarn, just for the first couple of stitches. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop my tail and just continue working with the yarn attached to the ball, the working yarn. Just knitting back and forth. Then turning my work and then knitting back across. And then when you get to these stitches with uh, the two strands, you just knit them as usual. Okay, and that's what it looks like so far. I'll just continue knitting back and forth until my piece is long enough. Okay, so I'm back and I have knit quite a bit on my piece that will go around my face. Let me go ahead and measure it. Looks like 21 and a half inches. And you can knit whatever amount uh, goes around your face to the bottom of your jawline. Uh, that's how you can make the hat uh, fit you or a child. You could do it shorter. Whatever length goes from the jawline of one side of your face all the way around the top of your head to the jawline of your other side of your face. Okay, so now I'm here. I have knit 21 and a half inches and then I'm going to go ahead and cast off. So I'm going to go ahead and knit one and then knit the second one and then bring the yarn over the first one. So I'm just binding off in the knit stitch and binding off loosely. Okay, so it looks like this, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and snip my yarn and then pull that last through there, just like that, and snug it down. Okay, so here we are. So we've got our strip that's 21 and a half inches. So now I'm going to go ahead and take out my size 8. 16 inch circular needles for the rest of the hats and 
you know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to go ahead and weave in these ends and I'll meet back up with you in just a minute. Okay, so I'm continuing to weave in the ends on the other side. Just going back and forth through a few of the stitches. Okay. So now I have both ends tidy. And I'm going to go ahead and use my circular needles to pick up stitches for the rest of the hat. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and pick up stitches along one side of the, the piece that I have so far. I'm going to go ahead and go in this first set of stitches right here on the end. I'm going to hold the working yarn behind it and I'm going to go ahead and just pick up stitches doing one stitch in the top of each row. And once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. And really, you can kind of go into anywhere that is available to pick up your stitch. I'm kind of trying to do one for each row or so. So I will catch back up with you when I get to the end and I've got all my stitches picked up. I am back and I have picked up all the stitches all the way along the entire edge. And now it is not going to sit totally flat because they're kind of a little bit scrunched on here, but it's going to be perfect for when we have to knit in the round later on. I've picked up a stitch on every row or so, and it's not that um, crucial. You know, you can just do every row or so, and just as long as there's no big gaps in there. I'm going to go ahead and consider this my front of my piece, and I'm going to mark it with a stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker on it. And this will be the side that I will knit on in the future on the piece with my um, with my stitch marker on it. I'm going to be knitting on this side and then I'll be purling on the back side. And there is like a small ridge along the inside where I picked up the stitches. So I'm going to keep that on the inside of my work. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then this will be the right side of my work, the outside of the hat, where it looks all nice and neat. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just continue, um, I'm going to purl all the way back on the inside of the work. I'm going to go ahead and purl. So as you can see, they're not attached. I'm just purling back along the inside of the work and I will meet up with you when I get to the other side. Okay, so now I am at the end of my purling. I purled all the way across and then I'm flipping my work and then I'm going to knit back across. I'm going to go ahead and so I have my tail and my working yarn and then I'm going to go ahead and knit back across on the front side of my work. I'm just going to snug up my tail there. So as you can see, we haven't joined it in the round. We're just using the needles, knitting back and then purling and then knitting like that. And we're creating the ear flap hat, the head portion of the hat. So. Okay. 
Okay, and this is how it's looking so far. So this will be the brim of our hat going around by our face. And then this we're working back towards the head of the hat back here. Okay, I will catch back up with you when I have more of this knit. So basically what I'm going to do is knit this whole row. And then when I get to the end, I'll turn it over and I'll purl back. And I've got my marker on this front side of the row. So that tells me which side I'm knitting on. And then I'm going to be purling on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and catch back up with you when I have more of this knit and purled. And it's, you know, quite a bit longer. Okay, I'm at the point where I have been knitting on this side and I have been purling on the inside of the top of the hat and I'd like to measure it for you so you can see how many inches we have from here to here. And so it's just a little bit over six inches from the top of the hat where the yarn is being worked to the brim of the hat. And so this is what it looks like so far. And right now we're gonna start knitting in the round to finish the hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and start just knitting around and attaching it instead of going back and forth like I was previously. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue knitting in the round. So now I'm joining the two sides of the hat together. So it will be attached. So from this point on, I won't be doing pearls on the other side. I'll just be knitting around and around until we do the decreases at the top. Okay, so I'm back and then I'm just coming around my first row where I'm knitting across again. So I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like. Okay, so it's just looking like this right here. And then I'll just continue knitting around and I will catch back up with you when I'm ready to do my decreases. Okay, now we're back and I have knit a few inches right here from the split. And I was just gonna measure it to show you how many inches. And it's just a little over three inches. But you can try on the hat as you go and um, knit more or less, depending upon if you're making an adult's or a child's or someone with a large head or a small head. All right, and then um, just a quick few measurements that I'll go ahead and do of like where we're at with this particular hat. So of course I went ahead and this right here, this portion is, 10 inches across. That's folded in half. And this is the length from the bottom of my cheekbone to the bottom of my other cheekbone. So this portion right here is a little under, just a little under 10 inches. But I haven't done any decreases or anything like that yet. We're just about ready to do our decreases. And then if I was going to measure this portion, which would be from the part that goes right around your face up to the top of the head. It is eight and a half inches or a little bit over. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start decreasing. So I'm going to go ahead and knit two together all the way around. So we'll go ahead and And I've stopped at the portion where the split meets. That's where I've stopped up at the top here. And so we'll go ahead and just knit two together 
to do decreases. So just like that. And you know what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and put in a stitch marker first. I'm going to go ahead and transfer that back to the original. Oh, there's my stitch marker. Just so I know where the beginning of the round is. So I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way around and knit two together to bring in the top of the hat. This is just an easy way to do decreases on the top of the hat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and catch back up with you when I get to the other side. Okay, so now we're back and I have two more knit two togethers until I get to my stitch marker. Oops, which just fell off. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back on. And then on this next round, what I'm going to go ahead and do is knit in each stitch all the way around. And then I'll catch back up with you. Okay, just like that. Okay, now I'm back to the stitch marker. I've knit one time all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and slip the stitch marker. And then I'm going to go ahead and knit two together again, all the way around, to do one more round of decreases. Okay, so it'll just look like that. I will catch back up with you when I get to the end of the round. Okay, now we're back and we have a few stitches left on the needles. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the end of the yarn. Give myself a good, I don't know, 12 inches or so just to sew in the top of the hat and gather it up. I'm going to go ahead and get a needle the darning needle and then I'll slip off each stitch onto the darning needle making sure to get every one of them so that it doesn't um, a stitch doesn't drop So now we have the top of the hat like this. I'm just going to go ahead and cinch it up and then make a few rounds through those stitches. Okay, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to the inside of the hat. And I'm going to go ahead and take a little stitch and make like a knot. And then do another round on the inside. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do another knot. Okay, and now I'm just going to weave in the end. Okay, so just like that, I'll go ahead and get my scissors, snip off the end. Okay, so now we have our hat. 
and I'm going to go ahead and remove this other marker which signifies the outside of the hat and I'm going to go ahead and make braids with the yarn that hang down on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and take the yarn, make several pieces of yarn that measure 36 inches. So I've made one for each side, each tie that I'm going to be making. Okay, so the way that I'm going to attach each set of yarn to the side of the hat is I'm either going to use a crochet hook, if you have one, or a needle that has a wide opening like this, if you have one of those. I'll do one each way. So I'm just going to put the yarn through the wide-eyed needle. And then I'm going to pick a spot kind of not up, not up too high, but kind of right near the corner of the hat. So I'm going to gently bring this through just like that. Kind of pulling more on the yarn than on the needle so that I don't break the needle. Okay, and then I'll slide the needle off. Okay, so that would be one way you could do this. And then let me set this to the side. And then if we wanted to do, we'll do the other one with like a crochet hook. Just find the corner. If I can find a spot that I like in the corner. That's probably okay. And I'm just gonna do a few strands at a time. Let me go ahead and pull that first set through. Okay, and so that is how I would do it with the crochet hook. Okay, so now just straighten out all your strands. Make sure you don't have anything that is twisted or anything. Okay, so now I have straightened out both sides. I'm going to go ahead and braid them. And I feel like if you do have this needle uh, with the large eye, that's a little easier than the crochet hook, but either way is fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and split each side into three groups and then just braid them. I am going to put something heavy on top of the hat. Just put that mug right there. Okay, so now I am I have braided this side. I am going to go ahead and tie this in a knot. I still have some ends right here. I'm just going to go ahead and tie it in a knot. Just like that. And then I'll go ahead and just trim it off. So it's kind of like a tassel on the end. Let me get a nice sharp pair of scissors. So just like that, I'm going to go ahead and trim the tassel so it looks like this. And I'm going to do the second side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I have braided both sides. I've tied them in a knot. I've trimmed the ends. I'm going to go ahead and put a pom-pom on the top of the hat. I'll go ahead and do that now. This pom-pom is just from the Grocery Girls. They have a website that you can order their pom-poms from and they have a ribbon so it makes it nice when you want to wash your hat you can just use the ribbon and remove the pom-pom put it back on I'm gonna go ahead and put the pom-pom on or the ribbon on this needle 
and then go ahead and put it through and get the other side of the ribbon. And there's also a little like button. It's a neoprene button that comes with this particular pom-pom. And you just put the ribbon through the neoprene button. And this makes the pom-pom stand up. So you can just use a regular button or no button. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie it. So now we have our pom-pom on our hat and our braids. And the last thing that I was going to do is I was going to do a little bit of embroidery. I was going to embroider some snowflakes on the side of the hat. I'm going to be using this ice yarn, this white softly baby that I have. And I'm going to get some threaded up on a needle and I'll be right back to show you how I'm going to make the snowflakes. Okay, now I'm back. I have thread one strand of worsted weight white yarn onto a darning needle and make a few snowflakes. So I'll just hold this the yarn in the back and I'm going to sew just a few snowflakes. Also in the back here, I'm just going to go ahead and tie the original end to the end of the first snowflake to the current yarn that I'm using. Just like that. And then I'll be back and I can weave that in or I can just snip it kind of short. Either way. All right, this is how it turned out. I love it. I made a few snowflakes on each side. There's the braided sides that hang down. Let me go ahead and show you the other side. With the pom-pom. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Bye.